Yes. I'm Bruno Ginelli. Yes. I have an appointment. Who's Bruno Gianelli? The strategist. Really? You got five senators elected, three governors. You got Hackett elected where they haven't elected a Democrat in 46 years. You got the Prime Minister of Israel elected. And it's entirely possible that he's never voted in his life. He's here. Why didn't you send him in? He didn't have an appointment. I mean, I did it. You did it yourself? Yes. And you're not supposed to do that, are you? Bruno! Good afternoon. Hi, Charlie. How was church? It, it was sucked. fine. Stop it. It sucked. There's a snake over here. What kind? I don't know, and I don't want to ask him. Can somebody shoot it, please? Do I need to explain the rules on making appointments again? Are you confused? Get out. I'll jot them down. OK, I see the snake now, too. Yeah, what we say now is going to be measured against the facts, the consequences of which will be far worse if we don't say anything and it goes the other way. I disagree. Then pretend for a moment the cow has MS. No, I don't think I will. Something going on with them? I think they can hear you. They're standing right in front of you. I think the cat's out of the bag on the MS. Does somebody here have MS and they haven't said anything? Seriously, that's a, a pretty big snake. But I am not satisfied. Indeed, Leo, I am close to taking my own life with a wheat thresher. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by washing of water with the word, that he might present the church to himself in something. In splendor. And I have no problem with Ephesians. And any time you want me to cleanse you with the washing of water, you know I'm up for it. Then what is your problem? Hackery! Oh. Where's the damn submarine, Nancy? I don't want to hear I don't know. I want to hear how many people are out there swimming around looking for it. See? And I thought you were going to panic, sir. Toby? CJ? I'm too sexy for my shirt, too sexy for my skirt, too sexy for the other things. What in God's name is He got it? the question. Who? The majority leader. When? Last night, local news, Cleveland, Ohio, Omeo, Ohio, oh, Cleveland, Ohio. He got the question. What's the question? Why do you want to be president? And what do you say? Uh, the reason I would run, were I to run, is I have a great belief in this country as a country and in this people as a people that go into making this country a nation with the greatest natural resources and population of people, educated people. I'll spread it around. I'm too sexy for my shoes, too sexy for the blues, too sexy. When Romans ran for the office of council, did I just see you roll your eyes? No, sir. Sam. Yeah? Did you hear? What? The majority leader got the question last night. And? Oh! Give me the transcript. Yeah. Listen. Nature is to be protected from. Nature, like a woman, will seduce you with its sights and its scents and its touch. And then it breaks your ankle, also like a woman. What the hell kind of dates are you going on, Oliver? I hear you. So there are these two Indians in the lobby. Yeah? No, it's, it's not the beginning of a joke. I'm saying there are these two Indians in the lobby. USS Wasp. Wasp is a CV-7 out in the Solomon Islands. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Am I still here? Lisa Mulberry, 28, specializes in placing genitalia in anatomically incorrect... Mm -hmm. Excuse us. Sure. Morning. Hey, Bruno. Hey, Hey, Connie. Bruno, can you devise a campaign strategy that involves beating the crap out of Leo? Why not? Yeah. Stuffing should be stuffed inside the turkey. Am I correct? It can also be baked in a casserole dish. Well, then we'd have to call it something else, wouldn't we? If I cook it inside the turkey, is there a chance I could kill my guests? I'm not saying that's necessarily a deal breaker. Josh? Could I get five minutes without being interrupted by banality? It's not banality. It's the boss's wife. Morning, ma'am. Good morning, Josh. Little heads up wouldn't be out of line. I said Josh. You have an accurate thermometer? Oh, yeah. It was presented to me as a gift from the personal sous chef to the king of Auto sales in Fargo. Phil Behind, the man can sell a car like, well, like anything. Very good, sir. You have a good Thanksgiving. And you do, too. Thanks a lot. That was excellent. We should do that once a week.
Phil Behind. I gotta get better at the names. Hey. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm not here. I called you at home and had you paged. Yeah. I didn't know you were here. I'm not. I think the jig is up. I don't know. Every time we make one of these deals with a place like Kumar, I feel the women around here look at me funny. I think you're probably wrong about that. You think it's just guilt? Yes, sir. Well, how should I deal with guilt? Be more like me. Yeah, okay. Hey. Good morning, Mr. President. Did the Celtics win last night? No, they got crushed. Okay. When I say did they win, you can just say yes or no. They got pretty well crushed. What are you doing? I'm sorry, sir. I had a few minutes. I'm not on you. I'm just asking. I'm making notes for a final in modern American history, consumer movements in late 20th century America. Modern American history sucks. I had a hunch. You want to study history, study the Crusades, the fall of the Roman Empire from Theodosius to Justinian. The Visigoths. Damn right, the Visigoths. Modern history is another name for television. Yes, sir. Is there any way I can help? No, thank you, sir. I'm a master of modern history. You can ask me anything. What year did we pass the Clean Water Act? I don't know. The Washington Times is running it under Bartlett, accused of contributory negligence. I didn't think the Washington Times could spell all those words. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Thank you, Mr. President. Oh, hey, do you know when we passed the Clean Water Act? No. How could you not know that? My water's clean. I don't ask questions. What'd I just say? I wasn't really listening. All right. All right. I've got copies. Have you read it? Bits and pieces. How is it? I'm going to set up a war room downstairs. It's serious? Yeah. Come up! All right. You know, Charlie. Yeah. History can't be reduced to dates and names. Well, I'm pretty sure this final can. Nah. I'm starting you out with a copy of the speech George Perkins March used in 1845 to rouse the agricultural community of Rutland, Vermont. And then you're going to need to study on the word ecology, as coined by the German biologist Ernst Heichel. I'm not being punished for something. Better in the original German, of course, but obviously the translation will be fine. Good. Leo. I can't take any calls right now. It's the president. Good morning, sir. Listen, I don't care that much about your ass, but if you need to perjure yourself to protect me, you're going to damn well do it. Sir, this is in the secure call. So I'm going to say to the 17 global intelligence agencies that are listening in that he was kidding just then. Whatever it is Josh does, you're going to let him do it. I don't need Josh. Yeah, to... yeah. How does she look to you? Who? Her. She looks good. What's she wearing? What are you wearing? What does it matter? Why don't you ask the president that? Gray Armani suit. Spandex. I like you and her. It's like a 50s screwball comedy. You're like a 50s screwball. What was that? Nothing. I just came back to catch up on some work. See how badly you screwed up this church thing in Tennessee. I did the church thing in Tennessee OK and did it without you. You mind if I make some calls, make sure Tennessee's still one of the states and stuff? Josh Lyman's office. Hi, Amy. It's Donna Moss. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's for me. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's in, Amy. Let me check. Press hold. I don't pick up the phone in my office. I'm sorry. How does the telephone work again? Hang on just a second, Amy. Oh, come on. You've been doing outreach to the women's groups in the State of the Union. Where are we? They're happy. Very happy? Yeah. With the surplus projections changing? Women are getting a decent break. <sighs> Damn. Where are they all the pro-lifers when you need them? Sons of bitches, don't they know you're trying to hey, get... Hey, this is not that. What, you going to a flea market? Yeah, I picked something up for you. You didn't have to do that. Yeah? It's a map of the Holy Land that was drawn in 1709. It's titled Canaan, Palestine, or the Holy Land. Mm, nice sucking up. Thank you, sir. Bartlett was playing a round of golf with Toby Ziegler, the prickly mumbling communications director whose inner bitter darkness spelled the breakup of the one marriage we know about. It was miniature golf, wasn't it? Yeah. It is well known in the Bartlett White House that after having two daughters, Jed Bartlett wanted a son and sought advice from the book How to Choose the Sex of Your Baby by Dr. Landrum B. Shettles. The book recommends that the father-to-be avoid jockey shorts, jock straps, and other tight-fitting clothes. Another sky, another June. Another something that rhymes with June. Wait. I'm having it enlarged and bolting it to the hood of my limo. They don't want us to put up our map, Charlie. They're Philistines in the fight for freedom, but that doesn't bother us, does it? Huh? Never mind. We can't sit on the, I'm sorry, we can't sit on the sidelines and ignore this crap. I'm not going to. Why am I the only one taking this seriously? That's a reasonable question, and we should explore that for a minute. It's not the reason you think.
Thanks. Anything else? You didn't have special underwear, right? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. It's got to be Lisa Sherborne. Hey, is there a reason you guys didn't get married because her name would have been Lisa Sherborne Seaborn? Yeah. That's the reason. I could do this for a living. What did you just say? I said it for your own good. Did you? I did. I like you. I hate you. Hey. Can you read it? It's great. Thank you. Someone's going to get an ass kicking from the missus. Listen. CJ. CJ? Hey, Leo. What's he doing? The History of Chess by Dr. Josiah Bartlett. So how long do you think before the old lady comes by to give you a whooping? Her office called already, didn't they? You bet, baby. <sighs> you probably want to rethink calling me baby, right? Yeah. This is a presidential address, Andrea, not a camel. A what? A camel, a horse built by committee. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. President. Good evening. Listen, they start voting in Hartsfield's Landing in about two and a half hours, so this may end up being somebody else's problem. <laughs> Take your time. See the whole board. Think happy thoughts, sir. Sure. You'll find it in your filing cabinet under A for anal. I don't really want to know what he's going to find in his filing cabinet, do you? No. You getting the pizza or? Yeah, I should call ahead. Crazy glued my phone. Who? <laughs> Charlie. Charlie crazy glued my phone. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now we're playing for keeps. Yes, sir. Just out of curiosity, what if that doesn't work? I don't know, but for sure we better blame you. Yes, sir. What are you doing in here? Leo told me to be here. Leo. What the hell? I, I want a, a copy of the daily schedule, the schedule. And Marion, the librarian over here, These was giving me guff, number, so I decided no to teach him by harmlessly But CJ decides to bubble all that and go through the rule. And crazy glued my phone. All right. Three letters. It may be bitter. T, right? It may be bitter? Yeah. Why T? This woman doesn't fit. End, you idiot. Bitter end. Hey. Hey. Jack Enlow? No, it's CJ Craig. We've met. <laughs> and laughed and laughed. Lord A. Jane. Yes, ma'am. Let's get drunk. O okay. We just talked for a little bit. And? I don't think you need to be concerned about her leaving you for me. I was pretty concerned about that. She's definitely leaving you for somebody, so don't be you so Leave me alone. I'm trying to be a husband, and your mojo is getting all over me. Yes, ma'am? CJ and I are going to get drunk. Come on. Yes, ma'am. You going? The first lady just asked me to get boozy with her. You don't think I want to write a book one day? Amy. You're beeping. The internet people are going crazy. You're kidding. I'm assigning an intern from the press office to that website. They're going to check it every night before they go home. If they discover you've been there, I'm going to shove a motherboard so far up your ass. What? Well, technically, I outrank you. So far up your ass! OK. OK? How you doing? Are we ready? We are. I believe we are. You want to walk over? Donna, let's go. It's time. An hour ago, they're zeroing out the technology challenge fund. That's the vice president's thing. You want to know for how long? I was working for him when he created it. Does he know? No. What do you think he's going to say when you tell him? I think he's going to say, Josh, you look remarkably like Sam Seaborn. Can I tell you what's messed up about James Bond? Nothing. Shaken, not stirred, will get you cold water with a dash of gin and dry vermouth. The reason you stir it with a special spoon is so not to chip the ice. James is ordering a weak martini and being snooty about it. Well, I'll reflect on that while watching my digital enhanced picture with theater quality sound. What about Leo? What'd I do? As running mate. 
Bartlett McGarry. Done. It's not absurd, you know. Yes, it is. It's not totally absurd. Yes, it is. He wants your parking space. I really do. It's not totally absurd. You have a good parking space. What's that you say? There's a phone call for Donna? Good evening. This is the White House. For whom are you holding? Anything else? I don't want to go back to my meeting. Well, you're not staying here. Mrs. Morello? What a thing to say. We're all very proud of you, Donna. She didn't do anything. What's that? It's Jed Bartlett, Mrs. Morello. Women talk about their husbands overshadowing their careers. Mine got eaten. Your husband got eaten? My career. This is exactly why I'm not going to my meeting anymore. It's a luxury. I know. If only technology could invent some way to get in touch with you in an emergency, some sort of telephonic device with a personalized number we could call and let you know that we needed you. Perhaps it would look something like this, Mr. Moto. You should have called me. Don't come close to pointing at me. This is cool. I'm gonna stand behind you and hold your shoulders. I don't need training wheels. Okay. Be careful. That 357's got a bit of a kick. This is always when you say something. No. No. Have you changed shampoo? You have. I can tell, because your hair seems bouncy and more manageable. I like to look good for you. Well, I appreciate it. Hey. Excuse me, I'm looking for Josh Lyman. Do you have to know? They're getting telegrams two to one against. Sir, will you be exchanging gifts with Sharif when you meet this afternoon? Yeah, I imagine. We'd like you to give him this. What does the pen do? It squirts poison? You seem a little better than you were before. I took a pill. Why? Because I was a little nervous about coming back to the White House. You took a pill? I took a couple. 